Some years ago I made a video called Defining Natural Bodybuilding and it was kind of a, an open letter to the natural bodybuilding community on, on how I felt. And I rarely if ever talk about natural bodybuilding because I feel like sometimes it can come off as being pompous or elite, even the world natural itself, right? It's, uh, has some elitism over people who use drugs as if we're any better than people, when in reality it's not. Is natural bodybuilding dead? In my opinion, yes and no. Um, but I think in these times, uh, we need to ask ourselves, what is dead? Like, what about it is dying? I think what about it is dying is the institution. The institution that is the thing that holds us together to compete. And I think in these times, we need to realize what's most important in natural bodybuilding. In my opinion, it's been what the individual gets from natural bodybuilding. Natural bodybuilding is live and well. It doesn't matter if there's two people in the class or 200 people in the class. If it's in you, it's in you. It doesn't fucking matter if a, if a bunch of people think it's popular and it's the biggest thing right now, or if no one gives a shit. Do your thing. It shouldn't matter if anyone else cares. Do your thing, and that's what body, natural bodybuilding, in my opinion, has always been about. I spoke at my grandmother's funeral, and what I said at my grandmother's funeral when she passed, I said, She's gone, but she's also alive. She has eight children who are 50% her. I'm her grandson. She had 30 plus grandchildren who are 25% her. The things she has taught us, the morals she has taught us, the way to live our life, the way to be, our personalities, our traits. She is dead. Yes, her as the one embodiment of her is dead. And like natural bodybuilding, the institution itself may be dead, but everything we've got it from it is alive. It's, it's like the saying, I am who I am because I was who I was. I think it is a, a, a pessimistic and abysmal to look at it as dead and be negative and that's all you comment on worrying about the depth of class size and stupid arbitrary things like that. Or you can look at people who have killed it. Look, look at a Doug Miller, one of the biggest supplement companies in the world. Natural bodybuilding. He got that. He, that's natural bodybuilding. Christian Guzman, one of the biggest names in fitness, uh, started natural natural bodybuilding. Mark Globeliner built his company, natural bodybuilding. Evidence based movement. Helms, Norton, 3DMJ, all these teams, all these things that we see in the community. I think it would be absurd for us to say that it's dead. The derivatives of it are well and alive. It hasn't gone anywhere. It is living through another means. You go to raw powerlifting. Raw powerlifting in the USAPL is on the rise. I think raw powerlifting would be remiss to say that they did that by themselves. A lot of those things in community that have happened, a lot of the popularity that has grown has been from people who started in natural bodybuilding. You, a lot of these Competitors in USAPL, you cannot say that you did not start in a natural bodybuilding organization and come over. Sure, a lot of you didn't, but a lot of you did. And a lot of those values that are brought over, if you look at Team TSA, all of those dudes were fucking natural bodybuilders. For the most part, Bryce was a natural bodybuilder. And there's been a lot of what we had in the natural bodybuilding community put to other places. If what you truly value is the community, is the camaraderie, is the people, is the spirit. Bro, it's still alive. It's not dead. The, the, the things that matter, the things that matter to the individual is not dead. The institution itself may be crumbling, but the power is in the people. The power is in our career. It is sad to see a legacy go and, and to see it kind of dwindling down, right? And maybe, maybe it was just a golden era and maybe we just lived through a golden era and I'm just talking like an old you know, bitter dudes throughout the years, but um, I think at this point, it's about, <laughs> at this point, it's about us seeing natural bodybuilding as a seed. When you put something in its grave, you can look at it as something that's simply dead, or you can look at it as something that has simply planted a seed for new things to grow and to sprout. And I proudly look at the fitness community and I see natural bodybuilding everywhere. I see what we did everywhere. If you want to be stubborn and only get those feelings from natural bodybuilding, that's fine. But I think what's important for you to note over time is that the abstract thing you do doesn't matter. We just want to get that end result, that end feeling from it. If you want a natural bodybuild, natural bodybuild. Don't let the institution take you down as a person. You can still go do these things. You, can st you don't have to take drugs. You don't have to go do MPC physique. If you don't want to, you can you can do it on your own. Look at Chris Jones. Chris Jones has never stepped on stage. He's seen as one of the greatest natural bodybuilders, right? And he is because look what he did for gym culture. It's huge. It's huge. It's it's, it's no small thing. And I think for us to say that 
what Ogus did in, in Legends of the Cetus and, and the whole culture of natural bodybuilding to say it's dead, to me it's it's like fuck you dude. Like it's it's alive and it's dispersed. What natural bodybuilding set out to do didn't accomplish it within the institution itself, but it accomplished it through social media, through the people, through community, through what I think has always been most important. If you want that old feeling, bro, the feeling's still there. You may just have to go to a powerlifting meet. You may just have to go to a CrossFit gym. You may just have to do it online through Instagram. The old forms are dead, I'm sorry. Harping on something, saying that it's dead, and just being bitter about it, I think is just slow, no growth, no movement. Fucking get with it. The world moves, dude, and the world doesn't give a shit. It, the universe is indifferent about you. Either you see that everything we had in natural bodybuilding has simply manifested itself through new means and is still current, and you continue to grow those things that mean the most to us, or you just bicker over the class and depth of a size in WMBF versus IPE and stupid shit that doesn't matter, dude. I am a natural bodybuilder. It has made me who I am. It's made my career 10 years into who I am. I will continue to have those core fundamental principles of natural bodybuilding in me, even if I am not on the stage.